One thing that gives me a little bit of extra hope is that um, it seems like young people are more and more getting it because they're not controlled by this. The uh, well, this isn't exactly true, but the state-controlled media. You know, you have the mainstream media that um, you know you can't deny that for whatever the reason is, the mainstream media only tells us certain things. They live inside this box. It could be as innocuous as just their their corporate owners don't want them making too many waves. Who knows why? But they won't tell people about this. But what's great about young people is I handed a, a Wall Street Journal to my daughter six months ago, and I said, hey, look at this this article. And she told me that was the first time she'd ever read a newspaper. But it's not the first time she's read the news. She reads it on the internet. She goes out and she finds things on her own and does her own research. And I think that's a really hopeful thing because um, younger people aren't under the spell of, you know, Brian Williams telling them how to think. And, um, you know, the Wall Street Journal, and et cetera, et cetera. They, it can't be controlled as much anymore. So I think it's a really good thing. And so there's some reason to try and educate people because um, there are people who can be educated. You know? Maybe less important, too, but also young people don't have a vested interest in the system. Mm, that's what older true. folks do. Well, mm -hmm. I disagree with you there. And I, and I'll say because I think the reason the younger people are getting involved, they're seeing their friends being arrested for bitty bitty pieces of marijuana and stuff like that. So they're, they're becoming more active. At least that's the younger people I know. Sure. And so that's part of why I think the, they got involved with Ron Paul. Uh, let, you know, let the kids out of jail. So you know, they have this mm -hmm. little itty bitty little bit of marijuana. They're not... You know, they're not robbing us like the Fed, Fed is. And, uh, so I think some of the younger people are getting involved and educated about those systems. At least yeah. the they people around me. Gonna, Pardon they know me? they're not going to get Social Security. I think that's a lot. That's well, a big part of it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think they're, they're, they're not worried about that yet. They're just they're seeing their friends get arrested <laughs> for being, you know, smoking 15% of their paycheck going away for something they're never going to get. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, I'm not sure they're going to see that. So the best thing I can think of is people in the room like, to do things, if, if you're, especially if you're boomer age, just keep talking to your friends. Because exactly. yeah. if I've run gun show booths and I can tell you where the resistance is, I, I've looked at the returns for uh, the primaries, the first two primaries. Um, what was the uh, New Hampshire was the one I was looking at in particular last night, and it's it's a generational uh, bias towards the uh, liberty movement is just uh, unbelievable. Really? Oh yeah, it's go look at it sometime. Um, go both uh, both the both the states. Um, it's real bad, and um, and I see it at the gun show booths all the time. So when they prop up the the candidate of the week through the national uh, television media, I'd I'd have boomers come by, bark at me, say whoever's name that was, and walk off. And this wasn't a a one-off event. This was a fairly common occurrence uh, when we had meetings. Um, for uh, Ron Paul, or just thereafter, after the 2008 cycle, I looked around the room, and the the hosts were baby boomer age, and pretty well everybody else was the few of the generation left before them, and the rest were under. Mm -hmm. It's this, it's this uh, abyss. It's it's not as bad as it was four years ago. It's improving, and I'm very very uh, thankful for that. But but it's a real problem. And it's a real statistical problem. You can go look up. Go. Well, as their bank accounts are wiped out, maybe they'll get the picture. I don't think so. Because, because again, it, a lot of this has to do with what I was talking about, with this concept of this barge. And the, the amount of time and experience of the people that have been on the barge for a long time is a lot to overcome. And then when you look at where the media sources come in from and how centralized they are, it's a lot to overcome. Those are two huge battles. And they're both working against them finding the way out. It's, it's a real difficult solution. And you look at some of the people that found their way out, they tend to be the smarter ones. They're, because it's not easy or obvious with those two sides going against you at the same time. Which two sides now? The one, the typical media outlets. And two, the, the, just the basic continuum of how things have gone. Where's the, the resistance? The, normal. the resistance again is where? Yeah. With neither of those, neither of those help with resistance to what's happening. They no. push you the direction I, that's going. I missed going. your point uh, five five paragraphs back. 
that you were saying about resistance to the liberty movement. Who, who is resistant to it? Uh, if you want to go by demographics, um, uh, largely baby boomers. Uh, before you leave, um, I've yeah. got some like demographics. here. If you, if you go go slides, look at the return. The weird ones, this is a small sample. Go yeah. look. Go yeah. look at the big numbers. I agree with you. And that's what you'll find. Yeah. Well, like that, but I was a libertarian when Ron Paul looked like that. And, I, yeah, and, and you're we not the problem. Me. You're not the one I'm talking about. <laughs> if, well, if there was more of you, I wouldn't be talking about this right now. <laughs> I was just trying to make a point at yeah. all. Mm -hmm. You're talking over me. You know, I'm just okay. I'm trying to agree with you. We were the strange ones. <laughs> I don't know what I mean, most of the I mean, I are just like, just like <laughs> over at the I didn't see you until, until, until I turned around and I saw Jenny yeah. and I thought, yeah. yeah. who's that other person well, back there? And I didn't want to turn around and get really, you know, look at it. Did you like it? I know, and that's why. Yeah, I thought it was my sister. I like it, though. That's where I really started to see it. Uh, it's lovely. Uh, uh, it's lovely. Uh, it's uh, lovely. Uh, it's lovely. Uh, it's lovely. Uh, What's that? Especially when there's five people sure? talking at the same time. No, they're all like. You know, my flu in really like started like with the. Not quite so over. Maybe you're not following me. You're here. What? My flu in is with the bigger picture. Came in October 1998. Yeah, I'll start clipping it. It's October 1998. Bill Clinton and Congress signed in the NCA Act. 